Welcome back to the channel team. First and foremost, I hope you're doing fantastic as always, that you have a smile on your face and a good feeling right here. Now with that said, today we're gonna be talking about the Porsche 986. That's right, the Boxster is back. It's been a while since I've touched the Boxster, but today I'm gonna be showing you step by step how to clean the mass airflow sensor because lately I've been having a rough idle since the car sat forever. If you've been following the channel, you know that I haven't touched this car in months and uh, I think it just got a little dusty. So before I need to replace the math, first, let's just clean it up. So I'll show you the location and exactly how to do that in this video. Stay tuned. Start by gaining access to your engine. Now, Porsche calls this service mode. If you've never done it before, don't worry, it's really simple. I actually made a video detailing step-by-step step how to do this. So go ahead and click on the link up here, watch that video, and once you get to this point, just come back to this one and we'll keep moving forward. Now, once you've accessed your engine, you're going to locate the mass airflow sensor. It's located on the driver's side near your air filter. The MAF is held in place to the downpipe with two T20 security torques. Uh, but before we take it off, let's actually disconnect the electrical connector to it. There's a... Uh, you press on that with your thumb and then you pull out. Okay, move that out of the way. You can even take it off of its kind of like housing there and put it aside if you so wish. Once you remove both screws, you should be able to just pull it out. Be very careful when you pull it out. As the math is a very sensitive part, especially this little diode right here. Visually inspect the math for any damage to any of the components, any of the wiring, uh, for any corrosion, or for the plastic housing, any cracks. Anything that just looks out of the ordinary, this one actually looks remarkably well. But you never know, it could still be the math uh, being dirty, even though it doesn't look it. Grab a can of your favorite electronic cleaner or math cleaner, you can buy this at any auto parts store. And uh, yeah, go liberally, make sure to dislodge any dirt that might be in there. That should be enough since this one seemed really, really clean. If yours is extra dirty, you might have to go a little bit longer, a little bit harder with that cleaner. Don't be shy with it. And uh, then let it dry. Then we'll be ready to install it. While the math is drying, I do suggest you check your air filter. Just if you're having any problems like I am with, with a weird idle, I mean, you're already here, you might as well. There's only two clips holding it in. You're gonna push those out of the way ah see that could be a problem I've seen this time and time again on these cars when they sit for a long time you end up getting something like this these cars are notorious for having this issue. Uh, I've seen a lot of them with all kinds of crap. I mean, I've seen it a lot worse where the whole air filter is just 
blocked with leaves. So always, always double check that. Uh, I'm gonna have to install a new one, but if yours is just plugged up with leaves, but it's clean enough, you can just go ahead and blow it off. I blew compressed air into the opening of the math so that hopefully any leaves would come right out of here and it did. Um, I didn't want to blow air in here first and have everything get trapped in the downpipe. So hopefully that got a lot of it out. Um, you don't have to do this step, but obviously when you saw me do it, you saw how many leaves came out. So it's definitely helpful to do that. And now I'm going to start putting everything back, starting with the air filter. With the mat fully dry, it's time to put it back in. Um, there's only one way it goes, pay attention to the shape of this bracket here so that you can't put it upside down by accident. So just be aware of that. And after that, just plug in the electrical connector and you are done. Now, hopefully this solves some of your issues, but as we all know, cars are seldom that easy because they are, well, never ending projects that we love. Thank you so much for staying till the very end of this video. I hope you learned something. If you like the video, you know what to do. Please leave a comment down below, give it a like. And if you really, really enjoyed it, consider subscribing and tell a friend. Now, until next time, please be good to each other and I will see you on the next video.